Good evening, everybody. You got Cody Ashmore, Director of Weekly Option Strategies at Simpler Trading, obviously, as you're watching this on the channel. And this is tonight's uh, free video. Um, for this video, I wanted to show you all how manipulation works in the dark pool. And uh, New York um, Community Bank was a big uh, topic of discussion yesterday. And I don't think that the news caused the flush. I think that the news came after the flush because um, someone needed to cover the tracks. And the reason I say they cover the tracks is technically, to the best of my knowledge, the law was broken, but it caused a, uh, I guess we'll call it a glitch in the matrix, if you will. But let me explain it all right here. Let me explain the rules to the best of my knowledge that I, was able, that I do know of. And kind of what has um, happened here. And this happens all the time in other stocks. This is just one that happened yesterday and I can show you a live example of it right here. So first off, what I want to do is show y'all, all right, here is the, the New York, uh, New York City, uh, Community Bank. I keep wanting to say City Bank, but Community Bank. All right, so it had a quick flush yesterday and then it rebound all of its gains or its losses and now it's right back here. Let me actually, I'll show you all on this chart here. I think I might need to extend that a little bit. Let's go 15 days. All right, so what is happening here, I'm gonna crunch this. Keep on crunching. All right, cool. All right, so let's look at this. So price, has been going sideways, move lower, sideways, and then it was right here. News, bam, it flushes, hits here, bam, all the way up to 440, and then look, it's almost as if nothing ever happened. I am calling this the glitch. Why the glitch? Because this news, I talk about it a lot on my channel, on the YouTube channel where there's about when I talk about dark pools and stuff that it's this is information being put in on the wrong day. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you my black box stocks right here. And then I want to go into see if the five minute chart shows it maybe. But if I have to, I'll pull up the other chart. Um, OK, so yesterday there was the flush, right? And actually before I even talk about that. And sorry for saying actually too much. <laughs> All right, so what are the rules of the dark pool? So the best of my knowledge that I'm able to learn about on my own without having actually, uh, I guess, being actively uh, actively participating in it is if you're in the dark pool, if you're in that exchange and you're in a place trades, there's two rules that I know of. So one is if your institution is stateside, meaning in the United States, um, then you have three hours to report your trade. And so what does that mean? So an order is placed in the dark pool and no one knows that it's being filled. And then once it's all filled, you have three hours to report it after it's been filled. All right, cool. That's if it's in the United States. Now, what if it's outside of the United States? Then you have 24 hours to report your trade. That's where how I see those late prints come across all the time um, and to use uh, to dictate market sentiment, right? So you have 24 hours. Well, what happens if you don't report it within these time frames? Yeah, technically you're in trouble, right? So let's go ahead and take a step back here. Here is my black box stock scanner right here. So you can see there is basically 5.6 million shares that um, was approximately 11% of its average daily traded volume at 440. I would kindly like to show you all right here yesterday's uh, trading day. And look where price is at. Well, from the highs right here, it's basically 690 all the way down here to 186. So it never traded there. You see right here, that 5.6 million is this dark pool print right here at 440. It is no mistake why this candle is up here at 440. Now let's take a step back. I'm gonna pull up this chart, it's a little bit easier to see. All right, so I'm just gonna put a line. I'm gonna go 4.40. 
And we don't need to see the line. Okay, that boom. And we'll just draw across. Like when was the last time it traded at that price? Oops. Center to the left, let's see. Bam. All right, so we're gonna crunch it. And crunch it some more. All right, about right there. So this day is February 26th. So what happened here? This transaction occurred on February 26th. And they took a really long time to report it. And since they reported it late over here, what they have to do, they had to flush it quickly down at 186. How do I know it flushed at 186? And then um, they flush it lower and then run. They needed to create volatility to create a story, basically. They're going to flush it, create a story, let it, then after that, let it hit the tape. And then after that, it's like, oh, volatility and just went back to normal. Nothing happened. Why is this at 540? Well, because this right here, look. And this is what it looked like right here. So whenever the market flushed, they flushed it down. When price got the 186, that's when they reported this. It's like, okay, we created the volatility. Oh, for whatever reason, they just want to create a story. Create a story to show that volatility came in. Boom, all right, cool. Hit the tape. No one has to know that we didn't follow the rules. And then that's why once that happened, they hit the tape there. And then it shows that they're getting filled at 440. That's why it popped up to here. And then it stabilized. So it's a glitch, right? They flush it to create a story, let it hit the tape. And then that's why this kind of went all the way up here. No one got filled down here and no one got filled up here. Those transactions never occurred. It's because they're putting the volume in the wrong candle. I talk about that a lot in um, some of my little YouTube videos. Like I'll actually show here. So if you go to YouTube, go to Active Profits on this video right here, I talk about how they put them in the wrong candle. And I have a bunch of little dark pool reports where I talked about gold's about to spike or oil looks like it's getting some activity as well, things like that. But go to Active Profits on YouTube and check it out if that's something you're interested in. But so this occurred on February 26th. That's when the transaction happened and they just reported it late. So just a quickly recap, because I know this is kind of, it could be mind boggling or like you could think no way, but to really rehash what happened is on February 26th. So like I'll write it all out so this makes sense. February 26th, this transaction was happening in the dark pool. Why? Because 440 was the last time the price was there. And yesterday it was between 369 and obviously down to 126. There's a report they're supposed to report it in 24 hours or maybe even three hours, depending wherever this institution's at. They didn't do that. So how do you cover it up? You flush it to create news, then you let it get reported. Bam causes a glitch. The reason this pops up here, this candle gets filled up here, is because that's when the order was being filled. And then the volatility stabilizes, and then the market goes back to what it was doing. So it creates a... And basically, it's like a glitch. You know, it's a video. It's almost like a video game, right? There's a glitch in the game, and the information that it's not prepared to handle hits the tape, and then goes... Ah, da, 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 and then it just stabilizes. So... That's what I want to leave y'all with. <laughs> um, what can you do with this information? Probably absolutely nothing um, for this particular ticker, but I have done it personally on NVIDIA. I've done it on Apple a few times. Because um, sometimes these little uh, late prints outside the bid and ask do come across the tape and they're, you could usually make a trade off of them. But this one is just straight up dirty, right? They flushed it hardcore, made some fake news, and then let it stabilize again. All right, cool. That's why it's just shook it off so quickly. Because this isn't real transactions. It's this 5.6 million shares hitting the tape all of a sudden. And then the system, the computer system, has to stabilize all the price action and then bring it back. Anyway, it's crazy, right? Um, but if you have any questions, um, like I said, uh, y'all guys can, guys and gals can hit me up on Twitter, which is on Active Profits is the handle. Or you can just uh, head on over to um, my little YouTube channel. 
and ask any questions about all these little videos if you have anything about the dark pool. If you're wanting to use black box stocks, if you use the link tree that's in these videos or my Twitter, you can get like 20% off your first month or uh, if you do the annual or something, you buy 10 months, but you, then you get two months free, stuff like that. But anyways, that's only if you're interested in it. And also, I hope you found this video helpful and insightful and probably mind-blowing. I thought it was interesting that this happened yesterday and I just wanted a chance to uh, bring it to y'all's attention. But have a wonderful rest of y'all's night and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.